Well, it's time now for our health report and joining us now is Africa 54 Health correspondent Lino Madu with a part two of our interview with Dr. Francis Kate, Deputy Minister of Health Services and Chief Medical Officer of Liberia. Thanks, Vincent. Today we have more of my conversation with uh, Dr. Francis Kate, as uh, Vincent mentioned, Deputy Minister of Health Services and Chief Medical Officer of Liberia. I asked him what memories he could share from his personal experience tackling Ebola in his country and some of the priorities moving forward with regards to Liberia's healthcare system. Take a listen. What I remember the most is seeing the amount of Liberians dying and bodies being picked up, you know, and the president had to take a major, make a major, major decision to go into cremation because we did not have the capacity to do safe barriers of all those that were dying on a daily basis. Liberia had had a civil war, and there were people traumatized from the civil war, many of whom have now gone through psychological help and so forth. Then, of course, you have Ebola, which also became traumatic. There are some hopelessness in people looking at a mental health issue Let's talk about the priorities in terms of healthcare system strengthening. Where does the country stand and what are the priorities now? We are looking at building a resilient healthcare system. That resiliency comes into looking at a couple of things. One, building capacity of healthcare workforce, uh, looking at surveillance as a key you know, component of that, but most importantly, laboratory is very, very critical. So trying to look at uh, putting in the right kind of laboratory equipment that will quickly help us to identify if there is a disease, what kind of disease it is, and so forth. And then looking at IPC. IPC is very important, infection prevention and control. So those are things that we are doing to rebuild our healthcare systems. If there was to, to be an outbreak, would you say Liberia is ready? Definitely, I can tell anyone uh, with not a single iota of doubt that we are prepared 24-7. Uh, we've seen, after we declared Ebola free on the 9th of May, we had two resurgences of Ebola in the country. The first one, we're able to continue immediately. And then uh, the last one we just had, from the time we realized this patient was declared was uh, Ebola positive, you know, based on the PCR, within eight hours, we were able to line list 131 contacts. Contact tracing was yeah, immediate. Contact, immediate. contact tracing was immediate, and we had all of the response mechanism in place. Let me get your uh, perspective on what is happening now, the Zika outbreak in the Americas. What would you say are some of the lessons learned that Liberia went through that perhaps you could share. Yeah, I think the, the, key, the key lesson here is the fact that uh, when there is a disease outbreak, one of the things that is very important is that how you communicate that to the people. When you come there, immediate communication and also allowing them to tell their story. Because every time you come over, and bombard people, you will have a resistance. You know, one of the things I tell people, illiteracy does not equate to ignorance. You were actually nominated at this position maybe less than a year ago. What are your personal goals? At the age of 12, I told my mother I wanted to become a doctor because there was no doctor in the village. A herbalist put herbs in her eye and this is what I left her with one eye. And I felt I wanted to become a doctor. I didn't know what it would take. But through the help of God and good people, here in America, after my graduation from high school, I came to the United States, being the first one from my entire tribe, and graduated from Mike Murray College, went to medical school, people supported me through. And now, went back to Liberia, came back worked here as a public health director, and went back. With my new position, what my goal is, is that my action or inaction should not cause a death of a little child in a particular village. That every time I take an action, that should be 
to help that little boy or girl or that mother or that father in that particular village so that they can be healthy enough to provide the kind of manpower that Liberia needs to sustain itself. And Dr. Kate visited Washington, D.C. at the invitation of the United Nations Foundation to share Liberians' experience and strategies in tackling the Ebola crisis and missiles outbreak. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Vincent? Well, thanks a lot, uh, Lenore. Be sure to watch Lenore Madu's health reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.